Hi Scorpio, welcome to your birthday reading. For those of you who are returning to my space and my table, thank you so much for all the watch time and the subscribes. I really appreciate it. All, any likes you do or shares, that's nice. <laughs> I'm greatly appreciated. Great, grateful. Greatly grateful. Ah. Um, for those of you who are new, my name is Raquel. This is going to be your Scorpio birthday reading. It's going to be from your birthday to your next birthday, so your solar return. From this birthday till your next birthday, um, I'm going to tell you um, what the year, the main message is about for the year for you, what your energy is going to be like for the year, what you're going to be, um, what you can expect to go through um, for the year, and then blessing. For the year okay um this is general so it's not going to apply to every single scorpio and this is for scorpio sun signs sun signs only so rising sign um you know and venus sign and moon sign this is not the the reading for you this is strictly for scorpio suns um I, I do want to mention, I'm sorry that I did not put this out sooner. I am a Scorpio rising. So um, from the, our, the Scorpio new moon to this past uh, Taurus full moon, my energy levels have been depleted. So I didn't want to put out um, any content um, that was um, not my best content. Okay. <laughs> so I didn't want to put your birthday video out there without me, with, with me feeling on the low. All right, so I'm going to pause this video and I'm going to bring the camera down so you can see which pile to pick, which pile speaks to you the most. I've got three stones here. I've got the first pile will be smoky quartz. The second pile will be uh, black tourmaline. And the third pile is, mal is a mixture of malachite and azurite. So the big green one. <laughs> it's malachite, azurite. Um, what was I oh yeah, happy birthday to all of you. I'm sorry that it's coming out, um, late. All right. So now I'm going to pause this. I'm going to bring it down so that you can see <clears throat> which pile you want to pick. If you're new, take a couple of deep breaths in, out, um, really, you know, however many deep breaths you need to take, um, to clear your mind and then open up your eyes and whatever pile or piles speak to you are the piles that hold the message for you. Okay, so let me pause this. If you weren't able to pause the video, please um, check below in the timestamps. Um, for the pile selection. All right, <clears throat> so this will be for everybody who picked the Smoky Quartz pile. So this will be pile one. This is your Okay, Scorpio, so the first message that we have for you is we're all mad here, all right? It's everyone is a little different. So for this year, I feel like you're really going to let your true self, your soul self shine. You're going to let you, any weirdness or quirkiness that you have, you're going to let that out. You're going to let, you're going to let that come to the surface. You're not going to be afraid to hide it anymore. You're really um, embodying who you are, your true self. And it's okay to do that. Everybody has quirks. Everybody has um, a uniqueness about them. We're all different. And it's like you finally realize that and you want to bring, you want to let your true self shine. You want to have your, you want to be, you want to show your um, eccentric, centuries. I got the word in my head, but I can't pronounce it right. Um, you want to let your uniqueness and your quirkinesses come out. And that's what you're really going to be doing this year. You're going to be realizing that it's okay to do that. Um, your ener overall energy for this year is walking away. So you're walking away from things that no longer serve you and into much brighter, happier times, better pastures, I guess. Why? I don't know why I want to say better pastures, but Spirit told me to say you're walking to better pastures. 
Um, you are walking away from people who don't accept you for you. And you are walking towards those people that do accept you for you. All right. You're walking away from any negative habit, any bad habit that you might have. Um, this is really the year for you to quit any bad habits. Um, spirit is going to have your back with that. They're going to help you do that. So that's what you've, that's the overall energy that you got going on this year is you really coming into your own, you really being yourself and, and cutting out anything that does not serve you. That's what 2020 is about for you. We have the four of pentacles here. So the year of 2020, I feel, is not the year to overindulge in spending. I feel like you need to save. You need to save your money because I feel like, and Spirit saying, in the year 2021, you're going to need those resources. So you're really um, being asked to uh, to save any new thing that comes into your life. You need to save that and you need to cherish that, all right? We've got the death card as well. And Scorpio, this is your energy. This is all about transformation. You are constantly transform transforming because you are a Scorpio. That's what Scorpios do. Um, but it's really you being in your element. You're, you're embodying your true self here, all right? You know, if you're a Scorpio rising you this is more for Scorpio suns but Scorpio rising if you're in like your 30s I should have labeled it that as well but if you're in your 30s this could also mean that for you too so if you're a Scorpio and you know Scorpio rising but um this is for Scorpio suns you're really going to be in your element okay you're going to be embodying who you are We've got the King of Cups here, and because you're embodying who you are and you're transforming throughout this year, you've got, you're in this energy where you're emotionally stable, you're emotionally sound. You can take on um, new relationships. Um, your cups are fulfilled this year. This is all about fulfilling your cups. It's like towards the end of the year, towards your next solar return, this is going to be you, the King of Cups. The um person who is emotionally imma emotionally mature enough to give and and receive love. All right. So you know by saving by saving all you can at the beginning of the year, and and um you know your finances and stuff like that. You need to save that so that um by the end of the year you have what you need. Okay. So now your blessing Scorpio. All right. Now this is interesting. I feel like these blessings, um, are for two people. <laughs> I'm split in this group up into two more groups. So there's two blessings here. You might not get both of them. You might only get one of them. That's what I want to say. Okay. So the first one is the child. Some of you might be getting pregnant this year. If you've been wanting a child or been wishing for a child, this is a good year, 2020, from this solar return till the next solar return for you. This birthday till the next birthday is a good time for you to get pregnant. And I feel like um, the universe is giving this to you because you are really embodying yourself. You're really transforming through this whole process. And that could be why they're telling you to save your money. Because you're going to need it in 2021 if you're going to be having a child or become pregnant. Some of you might be adopting a child. I'm also hearing that as well. Um, and others of you, you might be getting rid of childish like behavior. So for some of you out there, it's somebody that's around you that's childish. You might be getting rid of them. But I really feel like this is for, um, it's saying that, there's going to be a child coming into your life, whether that's through adoption or that's through um, physical pregnancy. Um, some of you, you're getting more healthier this year, and the, and it and it's leaving the because you're getting more healthier, it's leaving the door open for the chance for you to become pregnant. So I'm just pu I'm putting that out there for some of you. 
Um, for others of you, there is the locket. So this is a commit. This is um, you giving your heart to the right person or the right person giving their heart to you. So you're going to be finding love. Um, for some of you, it's a twin flame. For others of you, I just feel like this is a soul connection. It could be a friend. It could very well be a friend and not a um, romantic situation, but like a lifelong friend, okay? They're going to be coming in. You're going to be meeting them this year. So that's what I have for you. Oh, and then we've got advice. So your advice for this year is to honor your inner knowing, the medicine woman. So whatever your intuition is saying, go with it, roll with it, because it's not steering you wrong. Make sure you can you can decipher between emotion and intuition, because sometimes our emotions lead us in the, down the wrong path. Okay, so make sure you're paying attention to your intuition and your and honor your inner knowing. If you know something's not right, not right, walk away from it. All right, that's what you're getting this this year show and master be graceful in action and movement and action so this is saying you know once you honor that inner knowing once you just know you need to go about it in a graceful way if you find like some drama comes up don't just um jump in with a temper or you know doing things out of spite rise above it take the higher road be graceful in every action and every movement that you do and honor your inner knowing. Okay, Scorpio? So, some of you, um, a lot of you actually, because you picked the smoky quartz. What did I do with that stone? This is the stone you want to go out and get for this year, the smoky quartz. All right, I recommend this is a, this is a stone. This is one of your stones. This this goes along um, with you, but it has a lot of properties that can help you throughout this year. Um, it can help you with um, gaining your courage um, and honoring your inner knowing. OK, so you want to go out and get that. Um, and that's all I got for you, group one. So I wish you all a very happy birthday, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Sorry. Um, this is for the group who picked the black tourmaline. So those of you who picked the black tourmaline, this is the reading for you. Um, your overall message for this year is messages for a rabbit service to the animal world so some of you um if you're going through hard times um animals are going to be really significant for you if you see animals out and about animals that you don't um normally see or come across you need to look that up especially if they come across in weird peculiar peculiar ways okay so like if you see i don't know say a deer crossing a lake or something like that you need to look up deer all right any um animals that are out of place or it's weird you need to look them up because there's a message there for you others of you this could be you intuitively just getting really close with the animals that are around you or in your life knowing what they need knowing how to take care of them um in times of stress or drama actually going into solitude and like having your animals by you will help you heal mend and move forward so animals are going to be very very significant for you, um, Scorpio, from this solar return till next solar return. So, um, you know, some of you, you might, I, I do see some of you um, going into like veterinary. There's going to be some veterinary. Uh, maybe some of you are getting accepted to a certain veterinary school. Um, others of you, your psychic gift is communication with animals and you're going to really be developing that over the next um solar return from this solar return to the next solar return you can communicate with animals if you are a spirit 
if you have any psychic gifts, <laughs> gifts, that's what you're going to be working on. Okay. All right. So the major energy is the fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. Okay. This is all about your throat chakra. This is about being able to speak your truth, being able to clearly um, communicate with those around you and others what it is um, that you need or want. Uh, communication is going to be strong for you this year. Three and nine as well. Yeah, so that's all about growth. I'm seeing threes here. Um, okay, so we've got the star in reverse right here. And this is just saying that there is blessing. There is something coming in for you, but it's going to take a while. It's being delayed. Whatever it is that you've been wishing for or praying for is being delayed. And I feel like it's being delayed because you can't, you need to work more on your throat chakra. You need to work more on your communication. You need to, um, whatever creative gifts that you have, you need to put more effort in, more higher learning. We have justice here. So some of you might be involved with a Libra this year or be getting involved with a Libra, but this is about your life becoming balanced, you coming into balance. This also could mean for others of you that you are um, getting married this year. Uh, any legal contracts um, or legalities should go in your favor this year if you picked this group. All right, and then we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. So you're not walking away from anything. On contraire, you are really um, uh, evolving and, um, and sticking with what you know. And look, there's another animal on this card. So yeah, animal, animal, animals everywhere. Um, I feel like you are staying put. I feel like you are emotionally sound right now. Um, towards the end of your next solar return. All right. You, you know what it is that you want. You have everything that you need. Okay. Now let's get into the, the advice. Move beyond ancestral patterns. So whatever it is, do not repeat the mistakes of your mother, your father, your grandmother, um, your father's father, uh, grandfather, um, great grandfather, great grandfather for some of you. Some of you had a great grandfather out there that, um, was really, um, nasty. He was nasty, abusive, nasty. Don't like that energy at all. You need to move beyond that pattern because there's a pattern that keeps repeating over and over and over and over again throughout your family. And this is the year to move beyond that, to um, be the one to break that, that pattern or that chain, okay? Heart guardian, love and let yourself be loved. Absolutely. So this year, your advice is, is to give as much love as you can. And to be open and allowing love to come in for you. Like I said, with this, it could be marriage. Marriage is a quite possible definite there. All right. So now there's two blessings. And um, both of these could come true for you or one of these could come true for you. All right. Take it how it resonates. All right. So the first blessing is the bear. This is abundance in career. This is abundance in wealth, um, money coming in for you. This could also be um, a career taking off, all right? A career finally taking off. It could be an overbearing person in your life um, that maybe uh, has given up the reins and decided not to be overbearing anymore. That could be for some of you Scorpios out there. Um, you know, Lenormand, you're not supposed to intuitively get hits off of it, but I'm clear audience, so I say what they say, and I'm seeing, you know, a career taking off. I'm hearing, I'm hearing, um, somebody back down from an argument that's usually overbearing, the person that's usually overbearing backing down, okay? I'm seeing... Um, abundance coming in for you. All right. So that's what this card is about. 
Um, take that how that resonates. Then we've got the stars and we have it in the upright. Whereas, you know, in the beginning of the year, it's in the reverse. All right. So whatever it is towards your next solar return, your next birthday, your destiny is coming in. It's coming to you. Whatever is written in the stars is coming for you. All right. And it's because you have took in this advice. And you have been in service to the animal world, okay? You've spoken your truth. You've gone through this. You've, you've changed. You're in an emotional, stable place right now, one where, that, where you know you have to be, where um, your emotions are sound and good, okay? Well, Scorpio, if that resonates, please let me know in the comments below. I'd like to see how these energies play out for you for this year. And happy birthday. I will see you in my next video. Bye Scorpio. Hi Scorpio. This is all of you, for all of you who picked the Azurite um, Malachite crystal. Azurite Malachite. Um, I feel like maybe some of you should go out and get this crystal. Um, it's a combo crystal. <laughs> or get Azurite and Malachite. All right. For this year. All righty. So, this is a little weird. I'm Spirit's telling me to change this up. All right. Spirit's, um, the way that I read the last two, I did it differently. So, Spirit is showing me to read these in a certain order. Okay. So, we're going to start with your blessings first. Um. We've got, and this is one blessing, this is one blessing here. Um, you've got, okay, so there's, there's two blessings, all right? Um, you might get both or you might just get one, all right? So the blessing is we've got the sickle and we've got the dog. All right, so this is you being able to cut out negative things in your life that don't suit you, don't deserve you, but you do it swiftly and quickly, and it doesn't bother you because you are being blessed with the, with the voice and the opportunity to do that, okay? And then we've got the dog. This is about loyalty. It's about you realizing who's loyal for you who's loyal to you, who's there for you, and who will be there for you, okay? So, and then I'm also getting something else. This could be one blessing. It's it's like you are finally understanding the difference between the people that are there for you and the people that aren't there for you. You can easily um, cut out the people that aren't there for you and remain loyal to the ones that remain loyal to you. So that's your blessing. It's like the knowledge to finally see who's there for you and who isn't there for you. Okay. All right. So the overall message um, for this year is clock time, time, pressure, in a rush. One and four is five. So there can be a lot of um, conflicts or battles this year with you feeling like you have to hurry up to be somewhere or get somewhere. All right. Um, there could be some tardiness on your part this year. Um, it's like you're always in a hurry. It's like you're trying to rush through 2020. My advice to not do that. <laughs> but that's what you're feeling. That's that's the message. It's like you got to hurry up to get to where you need to be, where you need to go. And I feel like, you know, I'm seeing a clock on this and I'm seeing this down here. I feel like, I feel like you have to actually, I feel like you have to, you have to, um, get this done. Time is of the essence here. Uh, angel of balance is your overall energy. So this is about growth. You have grown. It's like you can be well balanced now. I'm not getting anxiety off of this card, especially when it comes up with the angel of balance. I feel like you're able to balance your time out right. Um, but I feel like you need to hurry up to get things done. Time is of the essence here. Um, 
some of you at the, like around your birthday right now there is three of hearts so this can go in any other way i mean Usually it's a broken heart. Maybe you broke somebody's heart because you cut them out recently. This could be somebody um, broke your heart because they cut you out recently. It could be a third party situation here. But I'm really feeling that your health needs to be looked at here. And, okay, you really need to take some time, look at your health, um, Get into working out, get into um, going to the gym, uh, or maybe, maybe just eating better, eating healthier. Um, I, I feel like this is more health-wise than it is um, broken heart-wise, but we do have the sickle over here. So for some of you, it could be heartache, it could be heartbreak, you leaving a situation. Um, or somebody left you. Um, I actually, I feel like it's you left the other person. You broke the other person's heart. Um, you were able to cut that out quick, cut them out quickly because you realized that they were unloyal. Um, we've got the seven of cups in the reverse, which is telling me that you're not confused about anything. You know where you want to go. You're taking those opportunities and, um, options that are before you. You're not second guessing it. You're not indecisive about it. You're really going forward. For it, and because of that, this around this time next year, your wheel is going to turn. Your wheel is going to turn for the better, for the good. Okay. Um, I feel like a lot of karmic stuff is going to come back to you next year, but a lot. I I feel like it's good karma. I feel like it's good karma, and you might think that this is not that much of a birthday blessing, but. It can be. If you're a Scorpio that has a really or has had a really hard time um, finding people's true intentions in the past, it's like now you can see right through them. You know exactly who they are, what they're about, um, and it makes it so much easier for you to cut them off um, before they 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 burrow themselves too deep in you. If you know what I mean. All right, so your advice is stay rooted and grounded, Earth Guardian. So a lot of you are going to have to, especially when it comes to like spring, summertime, even next fall, really spend some time in the outdoors. Um, ground yourself as much as possible. Uh, this will help you stand up for yourself. This will help you give, give you the backbone that you need. Um, you really need to get back to nature is what I'm hearing. You need to um, get back to surface to nature. Something about the heart here. I'm getting heart, heart everywhere. For some of you, you need to go get your heart looked at or you need to um, you need to take a, you, your heart chakra needs balancing. Um, then we've got mountains stand your ground. So this is all about you knowing what you want, knowing where you want to go, and not letting anybody deter you, okay? Especially when you cut those negative people out, stand your ground, hold to what you say you're going to do. If you've kicked them out, don't bring them back in. Ground yourself so you can stand your ground, all right? This is all about grounding. And for some of you, I feel like grounding is going to help your heart. It's going to help your heart chakra. Some of you need to get into yoga is what I heard. Um, but you're going to be very well balanced throughout this year. So those are your messages and your birthday blessings. Happy birthday, Scorpio. I hope this resonated. If it did, please let me know below how the, um, these energies play out for you. And until next time, until my next video. Bye, Scorpio.